Hey everyone, good morning. Today me and Braha out here doing a huge job of staking the cucumbers. This is what staking the cucumbers means. Cucumbers are a vine. They grow upwards. And they put out these little stringers like this. And that stringer grabs onto whatever it wants and he uses it to climb. So we are helping them and we want them to climb up this fence over here. So, and we don't want them on the ground. So if you see, our main goal is to get them off the ground. These are done. They're all off the ground and these are on the ground. We're gonna now, we're gonna now stake it up like this. Now, remember what I told you about the cucumbers? So, about the zucchini, about the male and female flowers, let's take a look at the cucumbers. So, this is a male flower. It's a pretty regular flower with a stem. That's a male flower. How do, what's a female flower? Right here. A female flower has a little cucumber on its back. This a flower is dead. Let's find a better one, better example. Yeah, a little cucumber over there. Yeah, let's do it one second here. A little cucumber on its back. This is the female flower. So now we're going to take this and stake it up like that. I'm going to take the string. I want to show you how I stake it. There are hundreds of ways to stake your vegetables. You can, everyone has their own. You can use bamboo. You can use so many different ways. What we're doing is that I'm just taking string. Okay, I'm taking string and I'm tying it to the base of the cucumber plant and I'm leaving space for it to grow. I don't want it to choke. So I'm leaving a pretty big hole. Okay, so I tied it to the bottom. Just tie it onto the gate, like that. How do I retie it? All staked up. Hey everyone, good morning from our greenhouse. Something wasn't adding up in the greenhouse with all my huckleberries and blackberries. It just wasn't adding up. So I looked into it more. You see, my berries are already starting to grow. And I didn't understand because the berries I thought I bought weren't supposed to be growing so fast. I thought I bought a perennial variety that come back every year. And I was already planning all the jellies and stuff that I'm going to do with these delicious berries that come back every year, these berry bushes. Turns out the variety that I bought Huckleberry and the blackberry are both annual varieties, which means they only last for one year. They'll give you a lot of fruit in one year. And that's it. So now that I know that and that new knowledge, then I shall have to prepare accordingly. I planted all the seeds because I thought that they're going to be bushes. I planted all the seeds out. I thought they'll be big bushes and I'll plant them all over campus. And now uh, turns out that it's not going to be like that. There's going to be just an annual. So now I have to think, rethink. We're rethinking now. It was a bit disappointing because, you know, I took, I, I took the time. I put them all in their own pots because I thought this is going to be for the next, 10, 15 years and turns out that this is all for one year. I don't even have where to plant all these in one year, but uh, I don't have where to plant all these at all. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you learn to read the packets better. I never knew there's such a thing as an annual huckleberry or blackberry, but turns out there is. So that's that. Hello, sweet mama, and your chickies. You going to sleep? I just want to make sure you have 
clean water in the morning. So cleaning your water out. You have fresh water, mama. Clean water. And make sure you have fresh food. You're gonna wanna eat it now. Ouch. Not interested in the food. <laughs> Where's the other one? There's four chicks. Where's the fourth one? No, they just... Okay, one, two. <laughs> okay, right on top of us. Little chicks. <laughs> Puppy's back. We shear her. We puppy shear her because we live on campus and some of the girls have uh, pho dog phobias. So we puppy shear her and she is back now. She's checking out the chicks. Nellie, I don't think they're enjoying this so much. You are, I know. <laughs> She's all excited. My turkeys are getting bigger. They're already sleeping on the ledge. Ooh, mama turkey. Look how flat the chicken gets. What a mama, look how flat. Cause she has to accommodate all her seven chicks under her wings. But look, isn't that amazing? You win the good mama. Award. Look how she spreads herself out thin for all those kids. There are seven chicks hiding underneath her, and she could barely raise her head. I don't know why she decided to go up there. There's another one there she could roost on. They're all jumping down because I'm a little late in giving them supper. So they already got cozy and now they're going to come see what's for supper. Say good night to everyone up there. Good night to you. Where are you going to sleep? Where are you going to sleep? Hi, oh, little one. Where are you guys? On the lower lunch. See? Chickens have an order. Chickens have an order. Some on the tree. But if you're young, you go on the bottom. That's how it works. Bye, Nelly. Okay. Thanks for joining.